Hi, back in the kitchen with Jude. I'd like to show you how to um, help your child upskill, use their hands, and have enjoyment in the kitchen. So today, sieving. And here I've got a bowl, and in the bowl I've put some flour and peppercorns. Um, then with the sieve, I'm just going to place it over the bowl. It's quite strong. It's a tea small sieve and we've got a little bowl so I'll show you we're just going to spoon carefully brush probably two spoon, teaspoons at a time into the sieve and we're just going to shake it so the wee um, claws at the side are great for when you're putting in your spoonfuls and then you pick it up and show the child and you know they might get a little bit mess but you can use bigger bowls, a bigger sieve. I've used sand and marbles, used all kinds of things. Today it's for rice with shade in different ways to shake like this. And what have we left over? We left over with peppercorns. So we're going to pop the peppercorns into this cute little bowl and then we're going to do it again. This can be quite um, hours of fun and discovery you can put all kinds of things as I said if you use sand I used to hide um, as I said marbles little toys just interesting things beads and the joy that they get from finding things that they've actually found themselves through sieving they'd line up when we used to do an outside classroom so once again show them how to shake shake here we go peppercorns and there they go. And then at the end, when they've completed the task or they've had enough of the task, they just need to find a way easily to pop it all back in one bowl. It's another skill to learn. Now, scraping it out. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit of residue. Pop the, pop, um, the peppercorns back into the flour. Here we go. And just give it a nice little stir. Which with everyone's joy and that's a nice activity to use in the kitchen and just mix it up you can use anything but I wouldn't use icing sugar too much because you might find they want to eat it. Welcome back so the sieving activity Jude's just shown you is a great extension to the first spoon and bowl activity we did, we did and creates a great new challenge for the child. If you don't have a small sieve at home and you want one then uh, you can pick these up from the supermarket and just when you re remember when you're showing the child these activities, just to stand behind them and that way they've got the same perspective as you and they don't have to reverse it in their mind. So thanks for watching and let us know how you got on in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Cheers!